Okay, so I've gone into the BIOS on my PC. I have a new processor. It's a Simpron, well, my old processor is a uh, Simpron 140. The new one is a Phenom 2 X4830, regular uh, 99. I got it for 49, so 50 bucks. Um, when I built this computer a little over a year ago, um, put a really good motherboard in it and everything, but I actually had the Simpron 140 processor from a motherboard combo deal I had bought and sold the motherboard. So I just had the processor. So I went ahead and used that waiting for a good deal. And uh, finally I found this good deal on this uh, Phenom 2 quad core. So. I've been running this Simpron, which is a 2.7, it's a Simpron 140, which I think is a 2.7 gigahertz, and I've been running it at 3.4 and it's been stable. Um, this motherboard I have um, actually can unlock the second core, and I had done that on this processor, this Simpron processor, so it could be a dual core, but it wasn't stable. It uh, had random blue screens, so I, I I turned off the unlocked core, and so it's just a single core, 3.4, and uh, I've got 4 gigs of RAM. I've been running uh, Windows 7 uh, Pro 64 for over a year, and it and you know it's just been a good stable machine, and it's it's actually ran pretty quick. So before we upgrade the processor, we're gonna put the clock control back on auto. So that brings it back to the um, stock configuration, so it's back at 2.7 gigahertz. And then we will escape, save and exit, yes. All right, and so it's back up, and we're going to unplug the power supply. Now, let's see. Let's see if I can get some more light. Well, that'll have to do for now. Yeah, it looks alright. So I've got a Cooler Master heat sink and fan here. Um, it's got this little tab up here, this little handle, I'll just pull that off. And that should undo here. So I'm going to pull the Simpron out, and there it is. And let me find my heat sink compound. Alright, got it. And take our new processor. And the heat sink. We'll clean it off a little bit. We'll take and take a clean finger and spread that around evenly. Clean 
this thing up real good. Okay. going to put just a little bit on there. It's got these um, direct copper pipes, but there's a little ridge right there. So I'm going to kind of get those, make sure those ridges have a little bit of heat sink compound in them. So we'll take our processor, there's a little arrow right there, and there's one on the motherboard also, so make sure you line those up. Force it in, it should drop in easily. Okay, push the lever back down and put our heat sink and fan back on. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the view, I'm trying to stay out of the way. Getting it to latch back. Sometimes it can be a little hard to get it hooked. There we go. Got the bottom hooked. Top is hooked, and we'll push the lever back over. Make sure we're on it real good. And centered up. And we are locked down. And we're still plugged in. So hopefully I didn't completely block your view. I tried to stay out of the way. Plug our power back in. And we'll power on. And we're going to go into BIOS. And it shows on there at uh, 830. Let's see. We're on auto. Great. Looking pretty good. Let's um let's boot up and see how it looks in Windows and then we'll reboot and we will maybe overclock it. <laughs> 